This is T Advanced Math 1, and uh, I'm only going to do a couple pages of this because after a while all these problems become pretty much the same, regardless if you're doing advanced, basic, or intermediate. So, anyway, let's kick off. Um, if m equals 5x and 15x equals 3y, in terms of y, what does m equal? Well, we start off with what we know. m equals 5x. We know 15x equals 3y. Well, we have to sit here and go, hey, you know, we can rewrite this as 3 times 5x equals 3y. And then you could substitute m in right here. So what that equals 3m equals 3y and you could divide both sides by 3 and knock that out and what you get is m equals y. Fairly simple. Uh, on to the next one. If 45% of a number is 15 then what is 60%? Well, we can uh, we can do it one of two ways, but uh, let's let's do both ways. Okay, um, I'm just going to call this the mathematically. I mean, it's all math, but you'll find that uh, n times 0.45, so 45 percent of a number equals 15. What you need to do for a mathematical approach is you need to solve for the number. So then you can backtrack it later. So what you do is you solve for this number and you'll find what n equals. Then once you have that solution then you go n whatever that number may be times 0.6 and that will equal your final solution which will be 20. I don't really appreciate this way and I'm going to show you another way so let me just put you give you a little dash here and a dash for the next way. This way is uh, basically uh, what you would call ratios. 15 is to 45 percent as x is to 60 percent because we don't know what 60% is, right? Then what you do is you just quite simply move it on over here and you cross multiply. Cross multiplying, you go 15 times 60% equals 45% times x. So to put that in you have to break that out of the uh, percents so basically it goes 15 times 0.6 equals 0.45 times x and Heather's calling of course and I'm gonna finish this video real quick and x equals uh, that will equal 20 once again. So, now let's finish up the movie uh, for, uh, let's do one more. x to the tenth power by x to the cubed, right? So, that is the same thing as, now you have to remember that x to the tenth power over x cubed, that's the same thing as x times x times x times x dot 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 it goes out ten times all over x times x times x just three times realize what this does mathematically is basically you just cancel three from the top and three from the bottom and that'll equal x to the seventh. A more intuitive approach is that you just, whenever you see x to the tenth over x to the third, 
you just subtract the exponents. So, therefore, 10 minus 3 equals 7. You can get x to the 7th. Very good. And I'm going to stop here and call Heather back. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.